Chapter 38, Tubuayu, 2. Nan Huaren was only envious. He did not want to become a victim of the revolving crescent sun merit law. Everyone knew that cultivating this method would result in a trap, set up by its effect that it was impossible to get out of, becoming a piece of trash in the end. Seeing Nan Huaren's expression, Li Kai only smiled and didn't say anything else. The next day, Li Kai woke up early, as usual, to cultivate. However, when he opened the door, he was startled because there was a man standing quietly outside. It was an old man, around the age of 50 to 60. He was wearing a robe made out of vines. His face was lean without any facial hair, but his eyes were extremely alive, although he was old. His back was straight and his spirit was high. Senior, good morning. The old man respectfully clapped his hands when he saw Li Kai. Uh, Li Kai didn't know what to say. He was always calm and collective while looking at life, but he was at a loss with the current event. If the boy Nan Huaren called him senior, it would be acceptable. However, this was an old man, around 50 to 60 years old, respectfully calling a 13-year-old boy like him, senior. Such a strange thing. Li Kai regathered his wit and said, Elder, you must be mistaken. I am not your senior. The old man looked around, and turned his gaze back to Li Kai and asked, This place is the prime disciple's peak? Yes, Li Kai truthfully answered. If this old man didn't have such a good spirit, he would think this was an encounter with a mentally ill patient. You are the prime disciple of our cleansing and sense ancient sect, correct? Li Kai obediently answered honestly again. Yes, I am Li Kai. The old man smiled and formally bowed his head, then said, Then it is correct. This is your peak and you are the prime disciple, which means that you are my senior. Uh, Li Kai suddenly became silent. He was certain that the old man didn't have the wrong person. But in the end, to have such an old man calling him senior felt very strange and uncomfortable. Sorry, sorry, I'm late. At this time, Nan Huaren breathlessly rushed in from the outside, and smiled. When Nan Huaren arrived, he saw Li Kai and the old man standing still in front of the door. He coughed awkwardly, then did their introductions. Big brother, this is second brother. Second brother, this is, I know, he is big brother. Before Nan Huaren could finish, the old man interrupted him and earnestly replied. Uh, nice to meet you, second younger brother. Li Kai hesitantly gave out a courteous response. The old man nodded, revealing a very nice smile, and said, Senior, this younger brother's name is Tu Buayu. I am also the second disciple of the sect master. Since you are the prime disciple, you are the eldest brother of all of our third generation of disciples. Seeing his kind smile, Li Kai's head was shaking. He wanted to yell, Uncle, I am only 13 years old and you are 50 to 60 years old. Please don't play coy in front of me and call yourself younger brother. Finally, Li Kai invited Tu Buayu inside the house. Then he dragged Nan Huaren to the side and asked, What is going on? Having a younger brother like this old man, Li Kai was at a loss for words. Uh, this time, it was Nan Huaren's turn to not know how to answer. It took a while before he calmly responded. Brother, a couple of days ago, I already told you that second brother was coming back. Li Kai, of course, knew about the second brother coming back because Nan Huaren had told him this, but he didn't pay attention. He thought that the second disciple of sect master Su Yong Wang would be around 30 years old, at the most 40, but this younger brother in front of him was at least 50 years old. He was surprised and startled to have a younger brother this old. Brother, he is indeed Tu Buayu, the second disciple of the sect master, Nan Huaren said with confidence. The truth was, before, the sect master only had Tu Buayu as a disciple. Li Kai had only recently went under the sect master's wing. Li Kai contemplated for a moment. He had not met his master yet, but only this 50-year-old second brother. However, it was true that he was the prime disciple and with that status, all third generation of disciples, despite their age, had to call him big brother. How many more older disciples do we have here at the cleansing and sense ancient sect? Li Kai glanced at Nan Huaren and asked. Imagining a scene where a bunch of old men gathered around him and respectfully called him Big Brother, Li Kai could not stand it. Only one person like that. Nan Huaren quietly laughed. After hearing the response, Li Kai sighed in relief and walked toward Tu Buayu. When did Junior Tu come back? Did Master come back with you? Dear Big Brother, this young brother came back alone. I only, Tu Buayu said with a serious manner and an exposing kind smile. Li Kai immediately interrupted him and said, Younger Brother, you are 60. Please don't be so courteous. You are shortening my life. Dear Big Brother, I am only 1,675 years old this year, Tu Buayu, while keeping his amicable smile, seriously answered, Crash. Li Kai staggered, almost falling over after hearing the answer, not only him, but even Nan Huaren couldn't stand straight. Could, could you repeat that? Li Kai was almost choked to death by his own saliva. A 1,000-year-old man called him Big Brother. Dear heaven, does one really need a younger brother this old? This young brother is 1,675 years old. Tu Buayu slowly repeated without changing his tone. Li Kai glared at Nan Huaren and Nan Huaren could only innocently smile. He, himself, didn't know that Tu Buayu was so old. Big brother, are you okay? Do you want this young brother to get you a cup of water? Seeing Li Kai's choking expression, Tu Buayu kindly offered. Li Kai recovered and broke Tu Buayu's words mid-sentence. Grandpa, please stop calling yourself young brother. I'm getting goosebumps. First, I am only 13 years old. You are above 1,000. You calling me big brother is only shortening my life. Second, this is the main point. Why are you trying to be cute in front of me, calling yourself young brother? Are you implying that I am really old compared to my age? Do I look that old? Huaren, do I look that old? Li Kai crazily spoke nonstop. Nan Huaren was smiling on the inside. 
This was the first time he had seen this senior unable to hold on to his calm emotions. However, under the killing glare of Li Kai, Nan Huaren could only smile and pretend to look elsewhere. If this is Big Brother's command, this young brother. No, I will respectfully obey. Tu Bu Ai was receptive, with a smile on his face. Such a brilliant decision, young brother too. Li Kai nodded his head approvingly. Tu Bu Ai smilingly replied. When it comes to heavenly brilliance, I am not your equal. Tu Bu Ai's words silenced Nan Huaren. He used to think that he was smooth and slick, good at reading other people's mind. But this old man was even faster at flattering than he was. It seemed that Nan Huaren had met his match. Li Kai only smiled and certainly did not mind this. One could see that Tu Bu Ai was an interesting and wily person. A person living for 1,000 years like him could call a 13-year-old boy big brother in their first meeting. This type of person, if he wasn't an insidious mastermind, then he would be a person who could read the circumstances, knowing what to do in each situation. Of course, no matter what type of person he was, he could not escape from the eyes of Li Kai. He had seen many people, when it comes to reading people's thoughts and characters, very few could hide their intentions and nature in front of him. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to cultivate the invincible minutes Ren. Li Kai and Tu Bu Ai only just casually talked for a little bit, then they said their goodbyes. In fact, Li Kai didn't really care for Tu Bu Ai's purpose in coming back to the sect, so he didn't bother asking. This wasn't a big deal to him. Li Kai only had one goal, that was to make himself powerful, rebuild the cleansing incense ancient sect, and kill anyone who tried to block his steps, leaving no survivors. If the appearance of Tu Bu Ai yesterday was strange and funny for Li Kai, then the news from Nan Huaren the next day was unexpected to him. The next day, Nan Huaren and his master, Protector Mo, went up to the peak. They reported to Li Kai, giving important news. Tomorrow, Li Xuang Yun, the princess of a nine sang demon gate, will be coming to the cleansing and sense ancient sect. As the person in charge of the marriage between the two factions, Protector Mo was the first to be informed regarding Li Xuang Yun's arrival by the nine sang demon gate. Coming is fine, it is best to come after thinking it through completely. But if not, it doesn't really matter. Li Kai was quite surprised. He thought that the nine sang demon gate would wait for eight or ten years. He didn't expect that Li Xuang Yun would be coming in less than a year. Of course, if the nine sang demon gate was to wait for ten years before making a move, then Li Kai would open his door for them. By then, his wings would have become full-fledged so there was no need for the Nine Saint Demon Gate to come. What he needed right now was a timely ally, not someone who would embroider flowers on cotton cloths. 1. Protector Mo was too hesitant to personally ask Li Kei, so he winked at Nan Huaren. Nan Huaren understood his master, and had to bite the bullet to ask, Senior, if Princess Li actually wanted to stay at our cleansing incense ancient sect, would you really let her be a sword maid? 